the most realistic online racing sim ever made. This is iRacing. Detailed laser scan tracks, fully dynamic real world cars, and over 50 series to choose from. Six online world championships offering over $100,000 in annual prizes. This is the original eSport racing game. This is iRacing. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Turn 3 Racing Network, as tonight we are here with the OP Racing Butt Kicker Grand National Series, as they bring you race number 15 of the season. It is the second race of the championship contention, and all that just for me to say hello, I am your host, my name is KR. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys are strapped in and holding on tight, qualifying is underway and alex green in the three the first truck to post a qualifying time a 52.41 good job out of the three but david booth gonna pip him by a bit and then neagles gets him a little bit faster morrison in a fifth that is your top five right now as they make their way around this speedway Flip Daddy Sean Stevens in the 27, making his way down the backstretch. Nate Warren with a 52.49. The Cody on top of the leaderboard with a 52.30. Vicente Guerrero making his way out onto the speedway. And for the first time this season, EJ DeBoer. Out on the speedway with us. Dana Shepard into the top five. Anthony English in the 44. English going to tag a 52.38. So 14 drivers have taken a qualifying time and the only one out on the speedway right now is the 14 of Vicente Guerrero. That'll give us about, that will give us 15 drivers who have qualified. And it looks like all the other almost 15 drivers will not take a qualifying time. So quite a few drivers just hanging out at the back of the pack to start this thing out. All right, that being said, we're going to step away for the national anthem. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. We take you down out of the track for our opening ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched we're so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spang Banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Daytona as the sun is setting at this beautiful facility here tonight. Let's get right into our starting lineup for this one. On the inside of row number one, looking to punch his ticket with a race win here tonight. He starts it off correctly with pole position. That is Cody, I make bad life choices, Neagles, in a 52.307 quick time. To the outside, Vicente Guerrero in the 14 teammates. On the front row, Vicente, also known as Vinci. Sean Stevens, Hunter Reynolds make up row number two. Row three, going to be none other than David Booth and Dawson Wise. Watch out for these two. They are also looking for race wins as championship contenders. Moving on to row number four, Anthony English, Dana Shepard. Row five. Zach Fritch and E.J. DeBoer. Row five, six, seven, eight, nine. The row six, Devin Ray and Alex Green for row number six. Row seven, going to be none other than Adam Schraub and Robert Morrison. Nate Warren, Sebastian Merritt for row eight. Row nine, going to be Kevin Fries and Austin Green. Row 10, Gabe Butler and Dave Hunt. Butler picked up the win last week. Eric Laurie and Richard Sanchez for row 11. Row 12, Alex Giffen and Andy Brigante. Not making the call to the grid. That is Austin Green, Andy Brigante, and Andrew Schroeder. 29 cars to start this race tonight. Oh, heavy contact already under yellow before we even get started the 27 plows into the back of the six the 77 getting a piece of it as well we'll see how this plays out but that is not the way to start the race Back in of the six, already tore up, but here we go. Pace truck down and away. Green flag is in the air. Cody in the six and Vicente Guerrero in the 14 side by side as they head off for turn number one. How much damage is on the six? How much is on the 27? Vicente Guerrero drops down in front of the six. That leaves the high line open for the 26 of Hunter Reynolds. Hunter's in that Reynolds wrap 26 square foot machine. Dawson Wise in the nine tucked to his back bumper. Here they come for the first lap. Hunter Reynolds in the 26 going to lead lap num number one as this race gets fully underway. Burrow to the inside, Cody Neagles. Giving him a healthy shove, and Vicente works up to the top side. The 6 and the 14 working together now to try and keep everyone behind them. Hunter Reynolds in the 26. Give him a healthy shove to the 14. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened last week as these guys Start to battle it out. Gabe Butler picked up the win last week, locking himself in to the next round of championship contention. Zach Fritch, Cody Nagels in the top three, and then Sanchez and Guerrero round out your top five. And then Gabe Butler with the sweep overall as he won the stage. So Butler did not take a qualifying time here tonight. Started, uh, I want to say, start about 19th spot. I didn't write it down, silly me. 
But uh, Gabe Butler going to have to dig himself out of a little bit of a hole. But 70 laps to get it done as we're three wide already. Big wiggle out of Dawson Wise, but gathers it back in and down the back stretch we go. Shout out to Ginger Parrot. How you doing, Miss Ginger? Let's get it done. I like it. Loud pedals and left turns. Heck yes, Ginger. And Dan, how you doing? Good to see you. Dan's cheering for Dana as well. So the Dana Shepherd uh, fan club is out in force here tonight and Dana right in the thick of things I don't know about you guys but uh, if you're a Dana Shepard fan you have heart problems don't forget to take your medicine I'm taking my medicine right now I can feel my cholesterol rising because Dana's stuck in the middle of all this Go ahead and take a look at our race info for tonight. Drivers down the running order in the points. Eric Lurie, Dawson Wise, Robert Morrison. All these guys need to have a good, solid points night here tonight to keep their chances alive to stay out of must-win territory for next week. As I mentioned earlier, Gabe Butler is locked in. And of course, I do have to give a shout out to the handsome and ladies, he is single, Mr. Alex Green. Good to see you out here tonight, Alex. Of course, we will have our stage break at halfway and there is one fast repair available. Three wide down the back stretch. Mentioned earlier that Austin Green, Andy Bergante, and Andrew Schroeder had missed the call to the grid. Two of those drivers have gotten back out on the speedway. Austin Green and Andy Bergante are out there circling around. Andrew Schroeder has yet to make it out onto the track. We will see if the 48 makes an appearance. But right now, he finds himself multiple laps down. On board with Steve Hoppett, who finds himself running all by himself. Hoppett in the 131. In no man's land, this is not what you want to see. Kevin Fries is dropping down the running order. Not sure what happened to Kevin here, but he's gathered it back in. One truck has gone a lap down, and that is the 13 of Andy Bergante. The Bergante, the first truck one lap down. He's got some work to do, but he's got plenty of time to get it done. Austin Green going to be the next one swallowed up. And then Steve Hoppett, and these guys looking for caution to try and stay out in front in three wide racing here at Daytona is a good way to bring out a caution. So we'll see what happens. Taking a look at our point standings as our drivers head into this race here tonight. This is how they it looked when they took the green flag. 
Butler getting locked in last week. Cody, 12 points to the good. Just one race into our playoff contention. This is race number two of our three race series. Anthony English, driver of the 44. Right now he is high, wide, and handsome. But English above the cutoff line. Sanchez just above as well. And Rick Sanchez seems to have a good run here. Sanchez finding himself all the way down in 20th. So the three wide has fizzled out quite a bit and Anthony English, the last one to tuck down and make it two wide. We're working lap 11. These guys starting to think a little bit about how they're gonna hit pit road. We go back on board with the 43 of Dana Shepard. They make their way down the back stretch. Things seems to have calmed down just a little bit right now. Nobody's trying to jockey for position at the moment. They're all content to ride around where they currently sit. So that being said, we all know that these drivers, they're 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 the aggressive sort. They wanna they wanna lead every lap, but sometimes you know, all right, I'm not gonna lead that lap, so I might as well just hold my breath for a minute, focus on driving, and just get to the next lap. And maybe I'll lead that lap. As we really start to get single foul here. Fuel window to make it to the end of the stage is going to be uh, next time around. That fuel window will open, I'm sorry, not next time around, probably about lap 17. Because our stage break ends at the completion of lap 35. Dana Shepard in the 43 out in front. And here they come. Big group on the pit road. The 43 stays out. Dana leads that lap. Nagels, Guerrero, Wise, Steven Schramm, Mo Morrison, Ray, Booth, DeBoer, Hunt, and Sanchez all on the pit road. Got to have a good pit stop here. Can't make a mistake. Can't get caught speeding or spend a lot of time on pit road. You need to get on pit road and get off with the rest of the guys who you are pitting with or else you will be swallowed up. And on the pit road, they come the 26, very aggressive entry, gets it slowed down. And the big loser on that pit stop was Dana Shepard, who was very conservative, hitting pit road, and everyone else had to work around him. No 
Nobody in this first round of green flag pit stops getting popped with a speeding penalty. Everybody making a two tire stop, getting a splash of fuel and getting back after it. So a very clean pit stop for everyone here in this first go round. Reynolds getting a hard shove from Gabe Butler. Alex Green in the three, trying to make something happen in the second lane. How you doing, Belva? Good to see you. Thank you very much for coming and saying hello. Hunter Reynolds in the 26, taking over the top spot from the 88 of Gabe Butler. New fast lap of the race that goes to the 17 of Jimmy Reynolds. Reynolds turning a very quick lap time. That one being a 46.626. Right now that is the fastest lap of our race tonight. Anthony English, Gabe Butler, one and two as they cross the start finish line. The stage going in at the completion of lap 35. So I do believe if we don't get another yellow, we will see these guys on the pit road one more time because they can't make it to the end with a pit stop on lap 15 and go another 20 laps to the end of the race. Should we get a caution, I guarantee we'll see everyone on pit road because next time around, that will be when the fuel window opens to get to the end of the stage. Belva, how you doing? Sanchez finds himself uh, in 12th place, working his way forward. Sanchez, one of our biggest movers. And now he's up 12, make it 13 spots from where he started this race. Again, in 13 spots is no, uh, nothing to be ashamed of. It's just that Gabe Butler has gained 18 spots to be the race leader. A lot of that comes down to pit stops and all that stuff. As we do have one green flag pit stop cycle completed. Han, good to see you. Uh, you did shoot first. I don't care what they say. Greedo did not. And never, you cannot convince me. You can show me any doctored video you want. But Han shot first. Oh, so, yeah, is that? All right, so Han Greedo. I believe is cheering for either Adam Kilday or Adam Strom. Han, you have to let me know. There's two Adams here. We got Kilday and Strom. Han shot before Josh Ball did. Ooh, here they come on the pit road. Oh, Josh Ball wasn't in Star Wars. That's just silly. Ooh, big lockup from the 26 of Hunter Reynolds. Did he get it slowed down in time?
Rest of the drivers making their way down the back stretch. Kevin Fries drops down to the inside. The 25 out in front of the 27, but Cody in the six as Dawson Wise in the nine pushing on him. Well, good to see you, Josh Ball, and thank you for letting me know that you're cheering for Adam Schramm as our next group of drivers peel off for pit road. That group does include the 087 of Adam Schramm. All right, Adam, no pressure, but uh, you have a fan in YouTube chat. Don't, don't make a mistake. All right, he, he got in there good. Good job. Good job, Adam. So Cody in the six, Dawson in the nine. These guys stay out. They have not come down pit road yet. And it looks like these guys are gonna continue cycling around. I do have to point out that Hunter Reynolds and Gabe Butler both got caught speeding last time on pit road and so now they find themselves trapped one lap down and that very well could be what is pushing the six of cody and the 25 of kevin to stay out because they're going to try and run this tank dry and trap these guys one lap down Here they come on the pit road. Kevin with a very aggressive entry. That leaves David Booth, Alex Giffen, and Lynn McNeese. Out on the speedway, Andy Brigante in the 13. Started this race from pit road. Brigante. Already one lap down, battling to try and get back on the lead lap. So they stay out. David Booth continues to lead. But Booth out in front, having some internet issues there, a couple flashes from him, and that is a bad thing to have happen when you are in a draft. Because for that moment, you are considered zero speed. And so therefore your energy does not count. And David Booth is getting out of the way. Good heads up move by the 77. It's better to try and follow in that situation than to be the leader. So Alex is our race leader in the number nine. Andy Brigante, first truck, one lap down. Lynn McNeese sitting in second place. Let's check in on our groups who have hit pit road. That is a big battle right now. Anthony English. Sebastian Marin, Alex Green, all going after it right now. Oh, 
as McNeese, Booth, and Giffen stay out another lap. They're going to try and take this one as far as they can. English, Marin, Fritz. Is that Fritz getting up in, into this one now? Check back in on our leaders and they are gonna peel off for pit road this time. David Booth still having some connection issues. That is gonna hurt him a lot. Hopefully that settles down for him. So taking over the top spot, that is Sebastian Marin in the 32. Alex Green in the three with a, a very slow but methodical march to the front. go on board with the 44 of Anthony English and Belva oh and around they go Belva around they go and we stay green because it's a single car spin down below the racing line. Now we're really beating and banging. Oh, they want to bring out the yellow. Top, top break for the three of Alex Green. As we stay green, let's take a quick look here at what happened to the three. Single car spin down below the yellow line will not Bring out the caution. Oh my, tough break for Alex Green in the three as we're getting ready to wrap up this stage. Vicente Guerrero, Sebastian Marin, Dawson Wise, Cody Nagels, and Kevin Freeze, your top five. Belva, oh, your nine o'clock bedtime is still on as Dawson Wise, once again, another single truck spin down below the racing line. Big trouble for Wise. We're gonna have to come back to that one. Now we're not quite on the last lap. Let's take a look here to what happened to the nine. Hard, hard impact into that inside wall. Dawson Wise gets it rolling. We're gonna stay green because of it. 
And now the yellow flag has come out. And not for the end of the stage. Dawson Wise still trying to get rolling and up to speed. Maybe the 26 of Hunter Reynolds has something to say about why the yellow flag has come out. Let's take a look here and see what happens to the 26. And around he goes hard impact into the outside wall with the 44. And I think when that happens, Vicente Guerrero in the 14 is out in front. Hunter Reynolds in the 26 and Anthony English in the 44. Contact bringing out our first caution of the night. But this one is happening at the end of the stage. So the 14 of Vicente Guerrero going to lead everyone on to pit road. Or is he? Oh, a very unsafe entry on the pit road for the 14. Well, we'll talk to him here in just a moment. Zach Fritch wins the race off of Pit Road. Long stop for the 14 of Vicente Guerrero. And while that's happening, let's see if we can't get a word in with our stage winner. That is none other than the Italian Stallion, Vicente Guerrero. Roll my R Guerrero. <laughs> what a man, oh man, nice job winning that stage. Yeah, I was I was being a little bit too aggressive. Uh, you know, I feel bad for for Dawson getting wrecked there. Um, but man, I, I need to get some points. I got to make sure I get through this round. Well, uh, Dawson wasn't the only one to come up short on that. Uh, Alex Green got spun. Dawson got spun. And then uh, it looks like you decided to hit pit road a little bit late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, still daydreaming from what happened. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what happened. Huh? I'm a whole lot of napresta. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea how to say that and or what it means. But uh, either way, Vicente, nice job picking up the Sage win. Thanks, Kerr. Hey, uh, shout out, thank yous. Anything you need to add for this one? Yeah, I forgot to give a shout out on Monday night when I won uh, to my wife. So I want to give a shout out to my wife. Wait. You have a wife? Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm going to choose and, not to believe it because who would marry you? And four kids, bro. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just wait. Just wait. Give it a, give it some time. We'll get my little my little uh, kids out here and I racing and hopefully I have a crew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, nice job here tonight. Congratulations on the stage win. A job on being married and the four little ones. That's that's Thanks, awesome. <laughs> All right, man. That is Vicente Guerrero, our uh, stage winner. Vicente, working with quite a few drivers here tonight. They picked up the stage win. So with that being said, we're going to rack them and stack them. Get back after it.
first caution of the night about ready to wrap up and it takes place just as the stage was coming to an end Green flag is out. We are back underway. Second half of tonight's event here at Daytona. And oh my goodness, I forgot all about it. Tonight's race is sponsored by Kevin Freeze. Holy cow. I made a big deal before we even started this tonight. Like, what the heck? It's all messed up in my notes. I got it all sorted and then I never said anything to it, but tonight's race is brought to you by Kevin Freeze, even though he's just now getting credit for it in the second half of the race. It is entirely all his race that uh, he is helping present here tonight. So thank you very much, Kevin, for that. Guys, make sure you give it up for Kevin. Um, you may not like him or be cheering for him right now, but hey, because of him, you get to watch your favorite driver, so give him a shout out. That Fritch in the 12, finding himself out in front. Nate Warren, Cody Neagles, Adam Straw making a charge to the front. Here we go, Josh. Adam, the healthy move to that second truck in the middle lane as we're, we're trying to develop three lanes here. Hunter Reynolds, Sebastian Marin. Those guys up on that third lane. Rich in the 12, down on the inside. Hunter Reynolds in the 26, out in front, but in that second lane. Once again, that ebb and flow showing itself. The inside line works really well through the corners. The outside lane works really well down the straightaways, but it's all about when you build that momentum and when it comes into play. And we see that worked very well for the 26. He used all that momentum to drop down in front of the 12. For those of you who are paying close attention, you will have noticed that Hunter Reynolds is not on the lead lap, even though he is out in front of this field. Reynolds, multiple laps down. A very extensive stay on pit road last time he hit pit lane. Did not burn his fast repair for one reason or another. All right, so working lap 42 of 70. Right now we have 23 trucks on the lead lap. 
Sean Stevens in the 27 is the last truck on the lead lap. How you doing, Kyle? Good to see you. Thank you very much for saying hello. John Stevens in the 27. Last truck on the lead lap. He is working with the 44 of Anthony English. These guys have lost the pack or the front pack. However, their night is not done just yet. Long way to go. They got a shot at catching up, but they will need help from a caution. So 23rd spot, Sean Stevens. 22nd is Anthony English. First truck, one lap down. That is Austin Green in the 87. Green trying to work high, wide, and handsome right now. Green to the back bumper, Kevin Freeze. Oh, trouble, Cody Big Wiggle gathers it back in and we stay green. But man, was that a big moment down the back stretch. Caution flag coming out with 26 laps to go as trouble through the trial has sent a fair share of trucks around. David Booth getting involved. He went on to pit road. Let's take a look at what happened to bring out this caution flag. It is only our second one of the night. On board with the 77. And that was not that nine. Who was the one? Hmm. Alex Green, Robert Morrison, hard impact into the wall. Alex Giffen in that brightly colored number nine. The caution flag is out. As Kyle said, shake and bake. Because I do have to shake and bake right now. Be right back. I have had way too much water. And uh, I'm not sweating enough. So we'll be right back after this.
with the Butt Kicker Gamer 2, what you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker. The future is feeling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight as the OP Racing Grand National Series, presented by Butt Kicker, presented by Kevin Freeze, is at Daytona. It is fully dark, has been fully dark. The lights have been up for a while, but the action is just getting hotter. Our second caution of the night about to wrap up let's get back into it let's get that green flag in the air let's get racing once again 22 laps to go in our 70 lap race keep in mind we will use two attempts at a green white checkered should we need to that being said everyone has to make one more pit stop when do you come down pit road? When's the white? White. When is the right time to hit pit road? Zach Fritch in the 12 is our race leader. Championship contenders highlighted in uh, purple on the top. That's not really purple, is it? Is that purple to you guys? I need a professional woman's opinion because women can see color way. Oh, Cody's in trouble and Dave Hunt's in trouble. Around they go, caution flag is out. That is definitely a yellow. I can tell that color. But yeah, women see color in so many different more, like different spectrums than men. Well, I like to me, that's like, that might as well be purple, but I know it's not gonna be purple if I get a professional opinion. All right, so Dave Hunt. Cody Nagel's getting in trouble. Let's see what happens to bring out this caution flag. Down the back stretch. Not the best of shots from that camera angle, so we'll try another one. About this one on board with Jimmy Reynolds. Ginger Parent says purple. I mean, if Ginger says purple, then it's got to be purple. And I, who am not experienced enough to argue with that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
take another look here. Let's see if we can't figure out really what triggers all of this as our field hits pit road. Oh, a blink out of the six. Cody with a big blink right there. Take another look here. I bet this time we see him. Yep, there he is, gone, reappears, and now trouble. Oh my goodness, yes, Dan, Fair. yes. Cody's blink, you could almost guarantee that is what caused all of this. All right, so the six is right here. Let's, let's go off Dana Shepard. I'm going to take a moment here as everyone comes off a of pit road. Zach Fritch does hold on to the top spot. Let me back this up just a little bit. The 43 of Dana Shepard right there. Go off the nose. All right. Now watch. Cody here. Cody gone. Cody there. Take one more look. Cody in the six, just ahead of the 43 of Dana Shepard. Gone, reappears. And and that's the thing, that when you disappear in iRacing, you, it tries to predict where you are and it predicts by taking, let, let's say it predicts by taking an average, right? Because if you're not there, it has to assume you're still trying to be there, but it can't quite say you're full speed there. So it takes an average of the last time, right? That's why if you disappear, you slow down on a super speedway. We were talking about it earlier with David Boot. Each time he blinked out, that group was slowing down because he got counted as a zero speed for that moment he was blinking. So yeah. Now, how do you as race control score that? Cause you can't call it a racing incident unless you consider internet issues the same as mechanical issues. And then if you want to assess blame, how do you blame the driver for mechanical issues in professional racing? Because professional drivers don't own the cars that they race anymore. That's, that's a very rare thing, right? Like if my car breaks, then I race uh, during my season. That's all on me. I am the crew chief car engineer, race car driver, tow truck driver, uh, loader and unloader, like I do it all, right? If something goes wrong, it's my fault, right? Who do you blame in this situation? I blame Cody and I think he should be removed from championship playoff contentions. Yeah, I said it, Cody. I went there. Get him out of there. No, I'm kidding, guys. All right, here we go. We're going to get back after it. Dawson Wise in the nine. Our race leader, Jimmy Reynolds in the 17. On the inside, green flag is back out. Here we go once again. That caution came just at the edge of some of these guys being able to make it to the end of the race. So I have no idea how this final sprint is going to play out. Ah, Netsby is here. How you doing, Netsby? 
Sorry I didn't say hello sooner. I, I see now that you've been here a little bit longer than that. So thank you very much. Hey guys, um, I, I know, I say it a lot. I do appreciate your participation, but don't stop. Let me know who you are cheering for. Let me know who you want to win this race. And don't hesitate to show some displeasure if somebody is out in front that you don't like. All I ask is that you do keep it respectful. But yeah, if you guys can, ham it up a little bit. Let these guys know that you appreciate the show that they are putting on for you. Cheer for them. Hit that thumbs up. Do all those things. It goes a long way. Like, if, if you're not a driver hard to explain the ego side of it it's it's big it's big I'm not gonna lie. i mean like devin ray we haven't talked about devin ray the entire time this is devin's first race this season and if i didn't say devin ray was out in front and devin ray goes back and watches this and i don't say devin ray's out in front devin ray is gonna get mad at me but I have to say Devin Ray at least six more times because we haven't talked about Devin Ray being out in front and he's out in front. All right, you guys are letting me know who you are cheering for. We got one for Sanchez. We got one for Mr. Consistency, Dana Shepard. Despite the fact that I said Devin Ray at least 10 times in a row, nobody cheering for Devin. Can I get like a, a secondary cheer for Devin? Nobody needs to cheer for Cody or Dawson. Those guys are old news, but what about Devin, huh? Can we get an underdog cheer? Let's go for that. Oh my goodness, here we go. 14 laps to go. The fuel window is open to make it to the end of the race, even with green and white checkered attempts. No one gonna come down pit road just yet. Last time these guys were on pit road was lap 51. We're working lap 57. So they have a lot of fuel to burn. That's a lot of time to try and make a decision of when to come down pit road. On board with the six of Cody Eagles. Right now, Hunter Reynolds, Steve Hoppet, they are the only two trucks out on the speedway that are not on the lead lap, and they are both. Uh, Hunter Reynolds only one lap down, Steve Hoppet three laps down as I do my math correctly. So Hunter been trying to dig himself out of a hole. Needs the help of one more caution to get back into this race. All you have to do is be on the lead lap when the white flag comes out to have a shot at winning one of these races. Netsby is cheering for Sanchez. Belva cheering for Sanchez as well. I had to guess. And then I think Dan and Ginger Parent, uh, I forget their driver's name. Uh, uh, maybe starts with a D. Something like a uh, goat herder. Oh, no, it's Dana Shepard. That, oh, I, I knew I'd get it. Oh, that took me a minute. Gabe Butler in the 88. Last week's race winner finds himself out in front. Cody in the six, pushing on the back bumper, but here comes Nate Warren in the two. Nate having a quiet night. 
Would love to see that two in victory lane tonight, but going to be a hard sell to get that two in victory lane as long as that six and 88 are out in front in our first group of trucks hit pit road dave hunt david booth andy brigante sean stevens on the pit road along with ej DeBoer. Down the back stretch, the 88 drops down in front of the six. That leads Nate Warren in the two, leading the second lane. Devin Ray in the 22, the second truck in that second lane. And the 071 of Eric Laurie, the third truck in that lane. Eric, missed you on Monday night. Good to see you out here tonight. As Ginger says that uh, Ginger's been cheering for Dana Shepard since 1991. Ginger. That's like a century ago. That's in a whole different century. Don't remind me. Nine laps to go. I do not believe that our front runners can hit pit road. In fact, not just a century, but that's like a millennia ago. Man, how about that? We saw the transition of not only a century, but a millennium in our current timekeeping. It blows my mind sometimes. All right, Nate. Oh, caution coming out behind. Not yet. We stay green as Adam Schramm. Big troubles for the 087. And we stay green somehow. That truck got tore up from the floor up. Big group on the pit road with seven laps to go. Gabe Butler leads that group on the pit lane, but the 22 stays out. Eric Laurie stays out and the 25 third truck in line there. Throwing Alex Giffen, the 12 and the 14. This group on the pit road, they span out. Good safe entry. Everyone looked like they got on the pit road as aggressive as they could. Anthony English in the 44 down and away after a very long time on pit road. That is gonna be a hard one to recover from. The 44 big time trouble right now. So Kevin wins the race off of pit road from this group. But our drivers who pitted a lap before that is being led by the six of Cody Nagels. And he is making the charge to the race lead. Dawson Wise pushing on that back bumper. This has all the makings of being able to clear Kevin Freeze in the 25. So the six to the point, gonna have five laps to go this time by. Everyone has made their final pit stop and everyone can make it to the end of the race with what they got.
Belva says that she has been cheering for the number five since 64. I'm going to assume that that is 64 minutes ago because the other more appropriate statement includes before men were on the moon. Yeah. Boy. Nate Warren in the two is our race leader. I do hope you all know that I enjoy interacting with you as much as you enjoy coming and watching. At least I hope you enjoy it. My jokes don't always stick, but sometimes they're good. Sometimes. Nate Warren in the two, Sebastian Marin in the 32. And Warren moves up to the high side. Cody in the six, open lane for him. Gonna get three laps to go as we go three wide. Zach Fritz in the 12, trying to make that high, wide, and handsome line. Well, Belva, to be fair, the Flintstones are quite the popular group. So, I mean, can I have your autograph, Belva? I mean, to be compared to the Flintstones, you're up there. You're up there in celebrity status. Regardless, these drivers are really letting it all hang out. And right now, a driver at the front who was one lap down not too long ago. That is the 87 of Austin Green. How about that recovery to be battling for the top spot? Two laps to go. Could we make it around and get the white flag? Austin in the 87 needs a healthy shot from the 14. Can't quite keep the six from dropping down in front of him. Cody in the six, now down on the inside lane. The 87 of Austin Green going to have to try and figure out what to do as he's trapped by the yellow line and that second lane. Here comes Sebastian Marin in the 32. Marin and Needles taking the white flag final time around. One last shot, here we go. One car hard into the wall. Did not see who that was. It looked like maybe it was the added. Yes, it was the 87 of Austin Green. Cody in the six, Vicente Guerrero in the 14 is another group. Heels off for the inside. That is Dawson Wise in the nine. That is an unscheduled uh, exit off the racetrack. Here comes the six. It, it looks like Dawson Wise is going to be unchallenged to the checkered flag. Dawson picks up the win. Vicente Guerrero in second. And last week's race winner, Gabe Butler, rounds out the podium. Our biggest mover up tonight from where he qualified to where he finished, that is going to be the five of Richard Sanchez. He ends up in fourth, and then rounding out your top five is the 25 of Kevin Freeze. So as the six makes the way around. Stops at the start finish line and begins to light the tires up. Let's go ahead and go through our race results as the six celebrates. Cody, Vince, Gabe, our top three. Richard Sanchez, fourth. Kevin Freeze, fifth. Sixth place goes to Zach Fritch in the 12th. Seventh is none other 
in the 32-23 is Sebastian Marin. Alex Green, solid finish up in eighth. Ninth goes to Devin Ray. Lynn McNeese in 10th. 11th, Eric Laurie. Robert Morrison in 12th. Alex Giffen finishing in 13th spot. Dana Shepard ends up with a 14th place finish. 15th goes to Adam Kilday. Dave Hunt in the 53 is 16th. 17th is Andy Bragante, Sean Stevens 18th in that Flip Daddy's 27. David Booth 19th, 20th, Jimmy Reynolds 21st, Nate Warren, EJ DeBoer in 22nd, Dawson Wise 23rd, Austin Green 24th, 25th goes to Adam Strom, Hunter Reynolds in 26th, 27th, Anthony English and Steve Hoppet in 28th spot. But now, all that being said, let's move on to the rest of our post-race show. That means talking to our race winner, the driver of the six, and that is Cody Niangua. That'll work. Niangua. You ever been on the Niangua? No, I have not. That's a that's a river in Missouri. You need to check it out. Well, I might have to. Where in Missouri is it? Uh, south of Joplin. Oh shoot, that's way down there. Yeah, it's then. the other side. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 close oh, to yeah, close to the Arkansas border, but on the on the other side from you. I ain't down in those parts very often. I'm up in the KC area a lot more than that. Well, you gotta let me know. Wait, 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 wait. We're talking about your race win. Don't distract me. Hey, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, do your job. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm trying to do my job. You're distracting me. You won the race. <laughs> I surprising all right it's so tell me surprising. tell me about this race because holy cow we had what three cautions four cautions you guys were were like pedals in the metal the whole time how tired is that how, like how uh, much how draining does that make it yeah uh, pretty mentally exhausting honestly because uh the racing is hard like there was a point where me and Fritch were dooring each other because I think we kind of met for the same piece of real estate and we traded a little bit of paint, but thankfully we got it figured out. But I mean, the racing is just really, really hard. Everyone's, you know, not giving an inch and, you know, there's not any formal teams being ran on Wednesday. And it just makes it makes it difficult when you're running with guys that you don't normally run with other nights of the week and you're trying to build up chemistry kind of on the fly or you know maybe you're just running with them once a week so it's not really the same kind of chemistry you have with your monday teammates so you know wednesday is a is a big challenge to me and anytime i can get in victory lane on wednesday for me is a big success and you know i'm having a good season um still a long way to go in the grand scheme of things to, to possibly take home the title but uh this is one step in the right direction all right, man. Well, nice job. You picked up the race win, advancing you into the next round of playoffs. Shout outs, thank yous. Yeah, I want to thank you, KR, for broadcasting as always. OP admins. Um, and I want to give a shout out to everyone that I ran with tonight. Uh, Rob Morrison, uh, Austin Green, Devin Ray, Vince. I mean, look, I, I, I can't say enough about, you know, Vince and everything he does for me, you know. I wish Dawson could have had a, a little bit of a better look there at the end because that was kind of the plan was to see if he could get in front of me and it ended up not working out that way. But hey, we got the six machine in victory lane and it looked like the roles were reversed from Monday, but yet still shades of Monday because we got the same podium out of it. All right, man. Well, nice job. And once again, congratulations on the race win. Thank you. That is Cody uh, North Eagles. I don't know. It's whatever. He doesn't, he doesn't tell me how to say his name, so I just make it up as I go along. But now let's move on to the Italian Stallion, our stage one winner, finding himself in second place overall here tonight. Solid run, Vicente. Nice job. Thanks, KR. Man, tell us a little bit about that uh, second half of the race and how you found yourself in second place. Um, it's, I think it's uh, pretty much a blur. I don't really remember what what happened tell you the truth i mean found some spots work myself up i uh, wanted to help uh, dawson you know get up there and have a good points night but he got caught up in the wreck or so and they're coming to the to the checker flag fill it for him but um but yeah that's that's how it was i mean i don't really remember much about the middle part 
All right, well, then um, I guess congratulations I mean, what, what, on second place. What, you just kind of woke what, up in second place. That's got to feel good. I mean, you tell me what happened. I don't. <laughs> no, I just no, drive no, forward. no. We're not going to. Uh, this isn't about me. This is about you. <laughs> well, you were the one broadcasting. You should know all this stuff. Listen, I was driving, was, but I, I, was I got like, a bit fuzzy in the middle of the race. I feel like I was talking way too much trash. <laughs> I wrote some checks that my mouth cannot cash. Well, I and, guess we're, uh, here you, you are and in second I were place. both smoking the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, a solid second place finish. A great uh, overall points haul for you. You win the stage. You finish second. One more race to go in this playoff contention. Uh, are you going to be able to advance after tonight? Um, I hope so. All right. I mean, I, I don't know. It. I don't know how many points. Uh, I, I got to see the points after tonight. Um, but you know, hopefully, I'll pull off another solid finish next week and just continue. You know, having the momentum. You know, going through the playoffs. All right, man. Well, one more time, final shout outs, thank yous. I want to thank you, Kr, of course, for broadcasting. I want to thank my teammates, uh, Dale Cup, uh, here tonight. Um, I was racing with the. Uh, Dawson, um, uh, Devin Ray, and uh, and um, Austin Green, Cody, obviously. But uh, I want, you know, it was fun racing with them. Oh, and I can't forget Robert Morris. Mor Morris was in the in our Discord too. It was fun. I don't know exactly where he finished, but hopefully he got a good finish. I know he was needing some points too. Um, I want to thank OP and and uh, and all their admins, what they do, and um, and most of all, I can't forget my wife this time again. Well, I think my wife for let me play this game. Well, I shouldn't say game. A <laughs> simulator. I oh, race into the... you're, you're getting tarred and feathered. That is Vicente yeah. Guerrero finishing <laughs> second place here tonight. Nice job, Vicente. Thanks, KR. All right, now let's move on to our third and final podium finishing driver. Picked up the win last week. A solid third place finish here tonight. Mr. Gabe Butler. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, brother. You're getting to talk to you a lot here recently. I mean, you're getting hot at the right time. Uh, probably hot, too hot too soon. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no! You're like you're you're just building for the greatness that's going to come in the next um, four races. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it, 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 it's super speedway, bud. We know how all that goes. Uh, anyway. That we do, but. Regardless, man, uh, you kick off your championship contention battle for, with a race win and now another podium, a third place finish. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you saw out there tonight. Um, normal, normal race, I guess, and uh, some unnecessary cautions, I feel. But, uh, you know, we made a mistake on the pit entry there, got caught speeding, went a lap down got that back and um, made our way back up to the front with the with the help of teammates, of course. You can't do it by yourself. And uh, ended up P3, so I guess I, I shouldn't be complaining. Uh, I'll take it. Well, man, a very solid third-place finish, and especially after, you know, like you said, coming from uh, a speeding penalty. Uh, when that happened, you weren't the only one that got caught. Who else got caught speeding with you in that situation? I think it was myself and uh, Hunter Reynolds. And, Reynolds. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, you guys yeah. both cooked it. I watched it. I was like, ooh, I'm not sure how that's going to come out. Yeah, um, he got his immediately. I got mine after the first line, which was odd. I thought I had it bowed down. But anyway, um, we were, it took Hunter a, a while to recover for it, from it. Um, I'm not sure he, he did get back on the lead lap i can't remember but uh, he tried his butt off and uh, almost had it and we tried to help him but anyway that's that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes that it is well man a solid job for you here tonight bringing it home in third place shout outs thank yous anything you need to add how the usual a big shout out to op and the admins for uh putting up with us all during all these races uh we're we're like little children sometimes and we have to be uh admonished by our parents it seems like and uh, of course yourself kr for doing your wonderful broadcast as usual and all the boys we were running with tonight in uh our team channel we uh 
had a lot of fun as we tried to do on Wednesdays, and uh, it was a blast. Look forward to next week. All right, man. Well, nice job once again. Congratulations on third place. Thank you, my friend. That is Gabe Butler, driver of the 88, bringing it home in third place here tonight. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope to see you tomorrow night as I get down and dirty with the Aces Up Sim Sport Series. We go to some dirt track racing. But if I don't see you tomorrow night, hopefully I see you Monday night. I promise you we'll be here Wednesday as well. So until then, y'all stay safe and have a great night. With the Butt Kicker Gamer 2, what you see and what you hear is what you feel. Butt Kicker, the future is feeling.